Right now, if you want to run Mac OS Sierra on a laptop, you're looking at spending at least $1,000 to buy something new from Apple. But then I got to wondering how little money could one spend and still get away with running the newest operating system. This is the late 2009 MacBook, and it's the oldest laptop that will still run Mac OS Sierra. At 4.7 pounds, it may not be the most sexy thing out there, but it gets the job done. It has a 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, two USB 2.0 ports, but no Firewire and no Thunderbolt. And as you might imagine, it does come with an optical drive. Now I have actually already put Sierra on this laptop, but it's a little slow. It only has four gigabytes of RAM and it has a really slow 5,400 RPM hard drive. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna put in an SSD, which should definitely speed up every operation on the computer. And I'm going to put eight gigabytes of RAM in it. Now Apple says this system will only support four, but in actuality you can put eight in and be just fine. So we're going to start by turning the MacBook over. All of these screws are the same. There are four across the top and four across the bottom, and they are all identical. So you don't have to worry about getting them back uh, in the right order. They're all the same. The bottom of the MacBook is a solid rubber surface. If you've ever turned over uh, an airport or a time capsule, it's very similar to that. This does not have separate feet like most uh, every other Mac notebook does. So once the screws are out, the bottom case just comes off. And we can see inside. So we have the battery, the optical drive, logic board, RAM, and the hard drive. All right, now we are ready to start. The hard drive is held in by a bracket that comes out with a simple Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and remove that. Set it aside. And the hard drive lifts out of here. We need to retain these little rubber feet. Uh, we're gonna unhook it from the SATA cable very gently. This cable is pretty fragile, so we wanna be careful with it. Now, the hard drive has uh, a T6, two T6s down uh, the outside. So we want to take these little T6 screws out. Go ahead and take these out here. And then we want to transfer the screws and the label, there's like a tag almost, like a pull. We wanna make sure that goes on the new drive. So I've already unboxed my SSD, I have it here. Sit them side by side. Take the pull tab off, put it on the SSD. And then we're going to put the T6 screws back in. Now, these rubber feet are a little bit tricky. They sort of slide on to the, just they kind of hold the edge of the drive in place. It's not really holding it down tight, but kind of making sure it doesn't move around. Going to reconnect the SATA cable. And we're gonna slide this back in. Once it's in place, I'm gonna put that black retaining arm back into place. And now I want to replace the RAM. So I'm gonna remove my single four gigabyte stick and I have two four gigabyte sticks for a total of eight gigabytes of RAM. So I'm gonna make sure this goes in here. Make sure it's seated all the way. So I'm getting ready to install Sierra off of a USB drive. And while this isn't going to win any speed awards, I think it's gonna get the job done for basic tasks like browsing and email and some writing. Now it's important to note that not everything in Sierra is supported by this older hardware. There's no continuity support. So there's no handoff, there's no instant hotspot. Things like the universal clipboard between Mac OS and iOS just won't work here. Additionally, there's no AirDrop, you can't use Apple Pay on the web and you can't unlock it with an Apple Watch. But it's gonna run modern software as long as there's not any, any software constraints with the CPU or something like that.
Now this machine was $1,000 new. I got it on eBay for under 200, and I've got about 160 bucks in with the parts. So all in all, you know, 360 bucks for a machine that can run Sierra is a far cry from buying a new MacBook. It's not the fastest thing, it's not the prettiest thing, but it'll get the job done. If you have any questions about the MacBook, anything about the process or how it runs Sierra, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Adios.